remote tampering has been done to our footage. These events are non-fictional and not scripted. Believe what you will. The old Halifax County Rehab Center was built in 1929. There have been many claims of patient abuse and tortures, and some say this is one of the reasons why it is haunted. In 1994, as this home video shows, the rehab center was still fully functional and housed patients after almost 70 years. Now, in 2008, only after six years of being vacant, it has decayed rapidly. Nothing but a shadow of what once was lay before the crew. What will be discovered within the walls of the old asylum, and what secrets could be uncovered? Join us as the crew embark on a journey into a maze of ghostly mayhem. Was I ever at the insane asylum? I've been in the insane asylum a couple times. Yeah, I've been there actually quite a few times. There's three or four levels to this old abandoned insane asylum. Saw these two like seven foot shadow figures of like human beings. Uh, there's been a number of different occasions that have actually creeped me out quite a bit. We were all in the piano room and we heard uh, we heard another piano playing somewhere. Said hello, and they didn't respond. Just kept walking closer. So of course I took off. Uh, there's like this hall, like a long hallway with all these rooms that I'm assuming that insane patients all stayed in and uh, all the doors were closed, I remember, and we were walking down to the end of the hall, and we got down to the end, and something creeped us out, so we, like, ran back around the corner. When we came back around the corner to that hallway, all the doors were wide open into the hall, so you could only see down the center of all these, like, open doors. And something was behind us running really fast, so we just booted her and tried to find the way out. Hi, I'm, uh... Drew Wilson here again for with Beyond the Grave, and uh, we're at the old rehab center right now, Halifax County Rehab Center, and we're just going in. Uh, this is Justine. She's going to be our uh, kind of medium, kind of psychic kind of deal, and uh, we're going to go in. I get the EMF detector. I get the EVP, and uh, we're actually going to go in and see if we can uh, find the interesting uh, ghost phenomenon, any kind of ghost phenomenon stuff, I guess. And uh, we're going to go in for a little bit, not too long, just enough to get a, uh, an idea of what actually is going on here. So take, let's take a tour here and see what goes on. Anyway, so. All right, we're actually inside right now, and uh, we're gonna try to go around and uh, get some cold spot. To I'm gonna pick up on some cold spots and maybe some energy in the air. And then I'm just gonna use this EMF to try to confirm and see if there's actually anything that's actually around this EVP, like I said earlier. And uh, hopefully we'll get some signals and see what kind of stuff we can find. This place is huge and it's really rugged, so we're just gonna take a little bit of time to actually cover a little bit of area, but. Uh, We'll see what kind of stuff we can come up along with. Hopefully we don't get lost and find something good. Yeah, maybe yeah. not get lost would be good. <laughs> so let's take a little tour, shall we? You want to ask some more questions, maybe? It's a really good spot. It's really cold in here. Isn't this the spot where you saw the face? Yeah. This part, if we ask some questions, just need you know, along there. I'll do it, yeah. Alright, uh, is there anybody here? Are you stuck here? Can we please have an answer to anything you have to say? Is there a way that we can help you? Can you say that again for the camera? It says something saying, let's go downstairs.
to do. Is there anybody here? Is there anybody that wants to communicate with us? reviewing of the tape anyways. We'll do a little bit more up here and then we'll go down to the uh, holding cells and such. Here's that. 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 Alright, this uh so obviously one of the smaller holding cells. You can just imagine the rugged life that would be involved if you were stuck here 24-7. Smallest window ever, no view. And pretty much 24-7 uh, lockdown by the looks of it. It's not one of the, the tighter holding areas, but uh, I imagine this would be very uh, you know, accommodating to anybody that would be living here. So I'm going to try to get a re few readings in here. deep into it. We're going to try to find, uh, there's a piano room that uh, people supposedly say the piano plays by themselves. So uh, we're going to go around there and just ask some questions around that and see if anybody actually, you know, maybe does play the piano or is a good piano player and actually uh, are stuck in this place with, you know, and then maybe that's their only tool in the afterlife. They Sorry about that. No worries. You heard it here father first, folks, ladies and gentlemen. As much as I want to actually dig up some graves, we're not going to.